no so for theta in sine of 2 theta minus 15 is equals to cosine of 3 theta now let's go straight to the solution now to solve this question, there is a property that we need to understand and this is the property of complementary angles in trigonometry. Now this is what I mean. Now given, uh, let's say, sine of a certain angle theta equated to cosine of a certain angle, let's say, alpha, um, or it can also be the other way around, can be also cosine of uh, angle theta equated to sine of um, an angle like alpha. These angles should be complementary. Theta plus alpha. That I mean theta plus uh, alpha. You can write like that. The two angles should add up to 90 degrees. Uh, the other is also the same here. When you add these two angles, when you add uh, alpha plus theta, that should give you 90. That is a property of complementary angles in trigonometry. Now, we're going to apply that concept in solving these. And this is what we should know. Now, when you look at this, let me write it here again. So, sine of uh, 2 theta minus 15. So, 2 theta minus 15 degrees is equals to... Uh, cosine of 3 theta this angle that is the sine of that angle and this angle here if that is angle A and the whole of this is angle B when I add A plus B this should give 90 degrees in this case A is um, 2 theta minus 15 and then B is 3 theta those two angles should be complementary when you add them you should get a uh, 90 degrees so let me add them so we have uh, 2 theta minus 15 plus 3 theta that should give 90 degrees so 2 theta plus 3 theta you get 5 theta is equals to take negative 15 to the other side you get 105 degrees and therefore angle theta gives 21 degrees and we have solved uh, for that angle so that is how we're supposed to solve that question